Hello, people of Earth, and welcome to How Did This Get Made? I am your host, Paul Shear, uh, joined as always by Jason Manzukas. How are you, Jason? I'm good, Paul. How are you? Very good. Uh, uh. <laughs> Any, Watch this movie. Didn't care for it. Oh no, no, no! This is yeah, a, this is like eat a dick. This is like speed. This is like a better version of speed. It's oh like oh god. <laughs> um, you know him probably from the Mindy Project or the hilarious film Blockers. He just wrote, directed, and produced and starring in a brand new movie. It's called The Oath. Check it out, Mr. Ike Barinholtz. Welcome. Yes, away. thank you. I've not whoop, whoop, been in- whoop, whoop. <laughs> Um, we also have another special co-host joining us today. Uh, she's also been on the pod. She has her own amazing podcast called Throwing Shade and a fantastic book, which I read and loved. It's called Feminasty. Please welcome Aaron Gibson. Hi, y'all. What a real, yeah. what a real turd movie this was. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this, this we is. We made you watch this. <laughs> I was obsessed with Jason State. I, I'm a legit Jason State oh, fan. Of same. Same. Right? same. But it was, the accent was so crazy. It was just like, yeah, I'm from LA. I was born in LA. I went to Crossroads, didn't I? Oh, I gotta go. I'm going to the Clippers game. Lifelong season ticket holder. I'll see you at Langus, motherfucker. <laughs> it's, it's so funny because we talk about this all the time. Like, you get these bad guys that are, or good guys like Schwarzenegger, that have these defined accents that you have to acknowledge. Like, wait, not, so he's an. L.A. police officer. It's one line. It's one line. Well, when I moved here from England when yeah. I was 18, I didn't like it. But yeah. now I love it because I'm a cop. Yeah. Instead, it's like, sorry I'm late. I was on the 405. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got off at Sentinella. And I, 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 there was, there I was a I grew up pop. in Chatsworth, mate. <laughs> Was he trying to hide it? He was I trying to hide know. it, but he uh, can't. It, it, he can't, and it's, just, it's sort of a muted statham. Like I feel like he's got more bite when he's doing his full-on British accent here. It just seems a little bit more muted. You meet me at Pete's Coffee on Larchmont tomorrow, <laughs> motherfucker. You understand I mean, what I'm saying? Coffee bean, bean is better than Starbucks. <laughs> it's the vanilla powder. They use a malt in it, don't they? <laughs> there was a line that I really liked, and I don't remember the full line, but like Jason Statham gives like Kim Basinger a couple choices, and A was shut up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shut up. <laughs> Keep your mouth shut. Just like Fernando Venezuela after he left the Dodgers and gave a shitty interview to Bill Plasky in the LA Times, which I fucking subscribe to. Um, which I read every week just for Jonathan Gold's reviews. He's of a San Gabriel Valley uh, Chinese wrist. He's a regional treasure, isn't he? Dim sum is my favorite thing. Um, <laughs> there was a thing. I'm going for a hike in Griffith. Park, I am. And then we're going to Chengdu Palace afterwards. You're gonna love it. They got fucking lobsters right in the tank. Uh, did you guys wonder like what what I was love gonna? Jason Statham, Angelino. <laughs> I remember when Maroon Five was called Katie's Flowers and they were just a band in high school. Let's finish this up. I gotta see Dan Cook do a set at Dublin's tonight. <laughs> Fucking rock star he is. <laughs> Whenever I'm at the Orc like having a movie, I'll go to Amoeba, but first I'll get a little bit of tender I love to greens. get old DVDs and Criterion collections. I remember when there used to be a Borders bookstore across the street. I'm going to try what's on this umami burger, Dan. You guys going to go to Groundworks and get me coffee. What's all this umami burger, then? <laughs> Oh, I love Madame Tussauds right then. <laughs> what I do is I go to Madame Tussauds, Ripley's, have a cocktail, Musso and Frank's, and then I'll stop at Umami Burger. Oh, for this me, guy's, it's these chicken are lines palm from the movie. <laughs> old school Los Angeles. First, we'll stop at the taco truck. My favorite is over by that uh, CVS in uh, Echo Park. I heard Dimitri's leaving Sunset Plaza. <laughs> <laughs> this oh movie, they God. are they're, they're at LAX. They're at LAX, then they're running the beach. They're <laughs> everywhere. This is a very... Yeah, they I park, want... and they're always able to park right next to wherever they're going, right in front of, and the car is waiting for them when they get out. 
that. I There's not the, a police officer screaming at them immediately. I you. have been to the Santa Monica Pier ten times. Brag. I have parked <laughs> no closer than two miles. Away oh, you can. Oh, you yeah. get some. Yeah, you unless you leave at to- seven in the morning to get down there. That's what I do is I park it to Fairmont, and then I get validated at Sharkies. <laughs> <laughs> All you've got to do is buy free things. <laughs> I buy a pack of gum, a pint. <laughs> you always want a pint later. And of course, I need my fish tacos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he loves fish tacos. Oh, um, yeah. Not as good as Jones Beach, but they'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Me and the fam are going up to Dana Point this week. Go Dodgers. Um, <laughs> the newscasters at one Stop point. Stop and get a Dodger dog. <laughs> one of the newscasters. I saw Bloody Larry King there last week. I said, how are you, mate? <laughs> the best the best bagels in LA of, of definitely Brooklyn water bagels. Larry King, part owner. That's crazy. I'm actually bagel broker guy. <laughs> I'll get there early. If you're there after eight, don't bother. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> I bought a place in that one. It tripled its tripled its price in three years. I'm flipping houses in Glassdale Park. Highland Park's a new hot spot. Have you been to Triple Boom Pizza? <laughs> Oinster all the way, baby. <laughs> and not the bullshit one on Vine. The yeah, original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The old school one in <laughs> out by the cemetery. Yeah, where I bring my kids to get their haircuts at uh, Little Munchkins. <laughs> We're just naming things yeah. we do in our lives. <laughs> um, so what no. is his plan? To hide in a boathouse, which has never in the history of anywhere in Los Angeles existed. I it know of a- one in the Venice Canal, actually. <laughs> my friends got one. We head down there. We we stop on Abbot Kenny and get coffee and then we go down. You to guys the like press juices? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the one good thing that go no buy Jolina and have a nice <laughs> meal before we hit the creation. Oh, Jesus, was not mind waiting in Lady line for a few minutes. Squash yeah, blossom pizza. <laughs> um, uh, this is L A. where everybody's got an avocado oh, mask on say, all the hey, time. Someone say L A. That's my hometown. <laughs> Which farmers market do you go to? Oh, I go to Hollywood. Studio City, actually. <laughs> I go by the Dry Bar. Have them give me a blowout. <laughs> Every Halloween, you can count me at Mr. Bones. I love that guy. I followed him from the valley to Griffith Park. Mr. Bone, Boney Island, that's where I'm at. Fountain is the best way cross town is what I found. <laughs> when you're a Lakers fan. Keep talking. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You automatically, with your other bros and tons yeah. of other bros, yeah, yeah. go and buy a, in Los Angeles, uh-huh. the hottest place on the planet. Yeah. A full long sleeve leather Lakers jacket. Yes, oh. I do. <laughs> yes, <laughs> got, I do. Got to support the team. Signed I by would, bloody Robert Ory. I would never wear a leather sleeved Letterman style jacket for the <laughs> Lakers. I would wait to be gifted it from my bros. <laughs> uh, I've never run more than two errands in Los Angeles in a day. <laughs> I've yeah. run six. I, uh, brought, I hit Rite Aid. I hit Lost the- Beauty. I went to Groundworks, got some fresh coffee. <laughs> stopped by Mr. Turk, got a new shirt. Stop picked up a baguette it. from Lost Mart Wine and Cheese and went to Wells Fargo. <laughs> All in one bleeding afternoon. If it's me, I'm stopping at the In and Out on Sunset for a double double animal style. So the that I can have enough off energy. Items. <laughs> um, all right, so, uh, well, I guess well, before I... I go to the Grove so I can watch Mario Lopez do Access Hollywood Live from you the Grove. You can catch him just doing it, <laughs> sitting there with some of the best names in Hollywood. Here's a statum tip. Get lunch at the farmer's market because it's cheaper and you get better cultural foods than if you get one of the restaurants inside the Grove proper. <laughs> Then you can also get. Then you are also allowed to park in the gr- in the farmers markets parking lot. Oh, no, I'm get gonna. It. I'm gonna warn you. It's tough to find spots there. Any time between eleven and two, you better also off parking P four. <laughs> the new LACMA is fantastic. The rain room. I got fucking. What was going on? It didn't rain on Have me. Have you been to the bloody broad? <laughs> 
You know what? I'll tell you the, the truth. The finest private I go to, art collection in the world is at the Bro. I love going to Pasadena Playhouse. They have a lot of great stuff there. It's better than the Almondson. The Theatre. What I'll do is best. sometimes I'll go to Pasadena in the morning on a Sunday and I'll go to the, the big old swap Huntington meet. Huntington Gardens. Have. Huntington Gardens and I'll stay and watch a show that night. Controversial. Perfect Pasadena Sunday. You know, it's controversial. I liked Hamilton much more when it was playing at Pantages Theatre than when it was playing in New York. It just is the lead. The lead is better. I gotta go. I'm seeing Andy Kindler at Largo tonight, aren't I? <laughs> Largo. I'll talk to Griffey at the door, and maybe I'll see Flanny over there. <laughs> um, oh, he's a real comics comic, Andy Kindler, he is. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, one thing I will say before we kind of decide whether or not we're going to recommend it, which I don't know how and, that will go. And before we do an hour more of Statham doing <laughs> L.A. I think specifics. we have a new podcast, guys. Uh, Statham in L.A.? Um, Sta- uh, Statham about- is L.A. <laughs> 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 All these L.A. jokes are just for us, Hardcore. you fucking turds. Yeah.